Ushers, would you come forward for the morning offering? Let us give, for we are giving to God. You can take Dad's offering so he can rest there. Listen to the song that's been chosen for the offertory this morning. Sanctify this offering, we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Praise the Lord. God helped her. Never heard her sing like that before. Praise the Lord. What you want to admire is that <clears throat> whether the burden is the burden of the hostages, and I guess that's where part of the burden is, right there. So we need to pray in closing for the hostages. Or whatever it is that she performed and sang as if there were none. I preached as if there were none. And God wants you to sit and listen and look at me as if there were none. Now, brother, that's the soldier in the army of God. That's why I work at it when I'm with Brother Him. Praise God. If he is what he what the Holy Spirit says he is, then there ought to, we ought to be in the most fierce battle that the church has ever fought. My brother, we ought, to, we ought to act like we got weapons. Some, act, some of us act like we're naked. <clears throat> Just naked. You know how a naked man he is. He finds himself. I've woke up. Oh, I mean, not woke up. I've been in a dream. I've been before crowds. Said I find out I don't have any clothes on. Oh, and I do all kinds of things. To, it's a serious situation. Sometimes it gets real funny. I like to carry on. I try to carry on sometimes as if I were fully clothed. All the while knowing I'm in it. Well, that's the way some of us listen to the gospel. Now, God's not, he's not, he's not pleased with that. So no, 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 no. He, he wants us to, see, we have spiritual, we're children of light. We've got spiritual clothes and he wants us in there working as hard as my preaching, singing just as wonderful as she's singing and playing just as wonderful as Sally's playing over there. That's part of the victory. 
Oh, the uptime comes. It may be tonight, like it has been for Sunday night after Sunday night after Sunday night. I didn't know John and uh, Jim were back there. John Good, Dr. Good. But, oh, my goodness, what a blessing. Why, well, they were in on a blessing because they saw us just as we were in the victory and in the joy. What did you think about what I said to you last night? Wasn't that something? Praise the Lord. I talked to both of these daughters yesterday, but God's grace. You know, Mary here, I just found out yesterday that, is, is that tellable or we, the, the news people wouldn't do anything bad with that about Johnson's daughter? Just, you think that's okay? Or should I just say some famous personality? They already know that much. Well, she's just, I'll just put it that way. Some famous personality, very famous, called her to help set up a program for them. And, and we only stumbled on it just in conversation. Just stumbled on it. And she hardly acted like she knew who the person was. They were very famous persons, persons of, of this very, very quality leader of this age. And her time with Dolly, someone else wanted her to help set up something. So I, I thought, well, great, great, great. Great, great, great. Uh, she thinks it's more important to be home than she does out there because she's right. By God's grace. Praise the Lord. She's got her car fixed up and she's going to be able to drive back and forth from Nashville, Tennessee. She said, now, 10 hours is a long time here, but out in California, 10 hours, you just pass the time with 10 hours driving. It's a long way to top to the bottom. It's a long way from outer Los Angeles to San Diego. San Diego. So she doesn't mind driving home 10 hours to be with us. So, Ray C., you'll have somebody coming home that's going to drive 10 hours one way as often as she can. Now, you think of that. Make your hour seem short, won't it? By God's grace. Would you stand for the benediction? Well, I didn't know sometime in the service where God... We get hold of a heart, one of the elect of God, and just save and sanctify him real good in this service. I didn't know what he might do. I said, Jesus, I'm not just sure how you're going to work here this morning, but um, I want you to know that God helped me to be true and preach from Romans 9 on a remnant with a purpose. And when I come back, I'll be looking at those last verses, uh, 30 through 33, I believe it is. And then we'll go on because uh, there's some mighty wonderful things coming in 11, 10 and 11. And then in 12, we start, therefore, I beseech thee. And I preached that some months ago. But in the context of all I've said, how much more will that therefore mean? Therefore, having said all this in 9, 10, 11 and from 1 to 8, therefore, I beseech, beseech thee to present your bodies a living sacrifice. And we'll try to get into that. And share because it's a great challenge. Us uh, elders, everyone except my father, would you pray for dad? He's got seven sermons to preach in Parisburg. And a man who's not been preaching regularly, one sermon's enough. But seven is an awful lot. So let's just pray that God will liberate him and and help him to preach at the age of 73 uh, like he's never preached before. That reminds me, Sister Helm has a birthday. What day is it? Come here. Thursday, send her some card and an expression of love in it if you have it. And yes. if you don't, the card will be the expression of love. Yeah. All right. The address is in the bulletin. Right. Uh, John Smiley is in reserves. His address is in the bulletin. Pay special attention to that. Oh, thank you. Meeting Thursday night for cluster representatives, cluster leaders, ministerial counselors in the music room at 7.30. And uh, this past Wednesday night... If you noticed in the uh, bulletin this morning, there was a special offering envelope that's available for those oh, who man. might not have participated or had the opportunity to per participate in the uh, uh, England offering. And Wednesday night, uh, you may have noticed the uh, thermometer was wrong. The thermometer read uh, 6,000. 6, yeah, 6,000. I wasn't here. Uh, and the actual reading should have been 72,51,04. And then after Wednesday night... Uh, after Wednesday night, the offering stood at 9,300. I wanted you to know that. Because that's 6,000. I walked in and said, oh, dear Lord. And I didn't want you to think that 
we were using uh, financial psychological tricks, you know. I said, oh, we got to tell them they did better than that because that's what it was last week. And I, I was concerned about that. They know how concerned I've been all week about that. And now I feel better about it. So you are helping us to take Robert Allen, to take Kathy Hogue, sending your wife, uh, sending my wife, and sending me, and sending uh, James Newby and his wife. That's quite a, that's quite a responsibility, but it, it all came in on us. Uh, you know, some of it came in on us by, because the other tour was canceled. So we leave Tuesday. We need your prayers. Now, when I come back, it'll be July 2nd. And I trust that you will not take a holiday unless God tells you to do so. That's not asking too much. Why? Because the 3rd of July, we will have been here, completed 16th years. It will actually begin our 17th year. And I'm looking forward to being with you that night. The youth choir is being get, getting ready to celebrate with us that night and that next Sunday, which is July the 7th. And, uh, of course, the next day is a great day. July the 8th is a great day. Oh, yeah. I, I, I will begin my 48th year. Is that right? Yeah. I'll be, I'll be 47 years old. And I'll begin my 48th year by God's wonderful grace. That's it. So almost, Brother Helm said, son, you met me at the age of 49. And I'll soon be what Brother Helm was when I met him. See, now me, don't worry about it. I'm so shocked with those of you that are afraid of age. It just, just gets me. If a husband says to a wife, I am not so and so and so. Or a wife says to him, I am not that old. Well, I've, I've always been glad. I, I lose years and can't figure out which it is anyway. I don't care whether it's 46, 47, or 48. But I'm 46, be 47, but get, begin my 48th year. That's pretty important because mom and dad, in two years hence, this month, will be married 50 years. I'm trusting we'll all be here and that we'll bring people in, the family. I'm looking forward to a great celebration right here by God's grace. Praise the Lord. Having said all this, we're still early in the service. We usually get out from 12 to 12.30, and it's not 12.30 yet. Has everyone obeyed God? Ever high, clear? Yes. Praise the Lord, fam. I just want to praise the Lord for the love of God that I found in the child. Oh. When I was here as a oh, child. oh, yes. Um, I just wanted to praise the Lord for the love of God, and what you shared today has stirred my heart. Because I've seen the truth of it. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm I've so said, as a child, I remember looking at different ones and not coming from a Christian home, being able to see that the love, that the love, yes. see, and that's what drew me back. Thank you, Pam. It wasn't that everybody was perfect, no. but it was the love of God. Love covered a multitude of faults. Yeah, and, and I just wanted to praise the Lord for the love and praise the Lord that um, he, he's not finished with me. No, that's right. That's right. He's not at all. We've almost just begun. Um, tonight, remember that our services are uh, really not complete till the last one tonight. And I'm trusting. Remember, I've been working hard trying to get out by 8 to 8.30 tonight. I really have. I'm real conscious of it. But let me tell you something. When you've got fire, you're the one pulling it over time. And you don't want to turn off fire. God's really helped you. So the new converts are probably testifying tonight. And our service won't be complete without our obediences tonight. I won't come with a prepared text. You've got enough. If you get a remnant with a purpose, you've got enough to chew on for quite a while, by God's grace. Brother, I want to come up and shake your hand while you were preaching, but uh, didn't want to interrupt, but I believe I should have. Yes, sir. Praise I'll tell Lord. you thanks. Thank you, Chuck. Praise, Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> Oh, I could feel you with me all week. Oh, I could feel it. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, this is the day where I need you the most. I got the grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And now receive a blessing. That touches me when I tell you. I don't believe there's been that much blessing had Chuck not obeyed the Lord. 
don't believe the witness would have come as powerful and as strong. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.